In the second video, we'll take a look at the multiplication of radical expressions with addition and subtraction in between. And in this case, what we have to do is we have to distribute our value in. Okay, so let's take a look at this first one. We've got the square root of 6 outside. So what we're going to do is distribute it into both of these terms. So let's go ahead and do that. The square root of 6 times 5 square root of 2, <coughs> excuse me, is square root of 6 times 5 times the square root of 2. And now because we have subtraction between, we'll put a minus sign. And that's the square root of 6 now, distributed in, times 3 square root of 3. And that's coming from multiplying this in. So now we've got multiplications commutative, so we can change the order around. So this is 5 times the square root of 6 times the square root of 2 minus 3 times the square root of 6 times the square root of 3. And so this will give us 5 square root of 6 times 2 minus 3 square roots of 6 times 3. And so that'll give us 5 square roots of 12 minus 3 square roots of 18. Now what we should do is take these back values here and simplify them or reduce them. Okay, so we'll simplify this square root of 12. And we'll also do the same thing to the square root of 18. And so we've got 5 times the square root of 4 times 3 minus 3 times the square root of 9 times 2. So that will give us 5 times the square root of 4 times the square root of 3 minus 3 times the square root of, and that should be a 9 right there. So I'll change that in a second here, but this gives us 5 times 2 times the square root of 3. And so again, let's change that value. Let's put our 9 in there. So that will be 3 times 3 times the square root of 2, which is 10 square root of 3 minus 9 square root of 2. Okay, on this next one, again, we'll distribute that square root of 2 in. So the square root of 2 times 7 square root of 2 is 7 times the square root of 2 times the square root of 2. We've got the addition sign in between, so we'll do plus. And now we've got 2 times the square root of 5. So it'll be the square root of 2 times the square root of 5. So this first one gives us 7 times the square root of 2 times 2. And then we're going to add to it the square root of 2 times 5. So the first one is 7 times the square root of 4 plus the square root of 10. And of course, the square root of 4 is 2. And there's really nothing that we can do with the square root of 10, so we'll just go ahead and leave that guy there. And so that gives us a final answer of 14 plus the square root of 10.